here, here we are. We've been talking about doing this video for I don't know how long, but this is Jennifer, and she's going to explain the infamous uh, alpha female, alpha, alpha male matrix. I'm going to start off by um, just throwing it over to you. Just Can you explain what it, that even means, and then we'll go into a little detail. We'll try to keep it short. Okay, so I talk about this all the time. I'm trying to simplify it as best I can. Basically, there's four types of people. There's alpha masculine, alpha feminine, beta masculine, beta feminine. What are we talking about? It doesn't make any sense. That's, I'm gonna be the, the typical guy or the typical like person that doesn't understand this at all. Just plain devil's advocate. So go into a little bit more detail on what that means. Okay, so let me first start off by saying that everybody has masculine and feminine energy. Usually, everyone kind of has a baseline of who they are. And so, naturally for myself, I am alpha feminine. However, when I'm working, and when I'm in work mode, and when I find myself needing to kind of assert being a little bit stronger and independent, I am alpha masculine. So, one of the ways that I balance that is by dressing incredibly feminine. I'm trying to adjust the camera there. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> See, the, this is the very non-production uh, high quality. We're just trying to make this happen. So this little microphone just makes so you can sound a little bit better. There we go. Wow, it looks <laughs> very bold. It's a little microphone, that's it. See? There we go. Okay. So yes, yeah, so you have the four, but you have a natural state of where you're at, and then typically some people can swing both ways through an alpha masculine, alpha feminine transition, whether that's throughout the day or around certain people, especially if you have a spouse or a partner, you'll typically see that. Most of the time though, I would say most people are one or the other, and they kind of stay in that baseline. So can we give it like maybe an example? I think that's going to make a little bit more sense. So I'm alpha feminine. We've talked Correct. about that before. Yes. So how would that work with me? Or use yourself as an example. So the reason that we're best friends is because you're a male and you're True. alpha feminine. Yes, I so am. that works really well with a female male dynamic in a friendship component because you're not partners. Yes. If you were to have two alpha feminine together, uh, feminine women together, that would definitely equate to typically uh, more jealousy, envy, kind of uh, creating some friction. So it wouldn't be a natural puzzle fit. However, if you were to have an alpha masculine female, which is typically what you go after when you're wanting a partner, that would work for you because it's a puzzle piece so it's like a battery when you put two batteries together like that's what creates amazing energy and that's what gives you power sometimes we're trying to force it and it's not working and that's really the reason why is because it's it's not matching on paper the alpha and feminine right and masculinity and so what happens is is if you're overcompensating or let's say my baseline is alpha feminine so if I am constantly alpha masculine and I have a partner who is beta masculine, that again would always basically, like I would be overcompensating. So I would always be on, I would always be performing and that person would never really give me a chance to kind of like rest my head and recharge and regroup. So that's why it's very important that I'm very aware of what that dynamic looks like for myself. Awareness. So that's key. And because, assumptions yeah. though too, because a lot of people just assume, maybe if you use you as an example, we assume that you are a certain way, and that if someone's dating you, that you should take control and, and run with it. But that's right, not so the case. Right, they're, so they're making the assumption that I'm always alpha masculine, and that's Ooh. not the case at all. But typically you do find that a lot and there's especially like even with men there's a lot of men that are executives and they're very alpha masculine during the day but they don't always want to be at home so 
typically they will be with a partner who's a little bit more take charge and uh, a little bit more of a stronger woman who does take control and is alpha masculine in that home life as well because they don't always want to be on all the time they don't always want to be the alpha um, in order for someone to naturally submit though and be beta to somebody there has to be that dynamic of power as well and you have to be able to shift to do that yeah it, it could, it's kind of complicated but i think the more that i hear it and the more that i'm aware of it it makes sense to me i think it would be really great to do a chart so everyone kind of has a good baseline of where Plus. they fall in the spectrum and a lot of times sometimes you don't realize it but people can share you know someone can share like both qualities of one or the other but depending on your situation that. but then there's like always that natural state relationships or whatever it is. this one other thing here and then we'll try to keep this video short but Earlier, we were talking about the confidence question, yes. and I wanted to just have your get you to answer that because the typical scenario is guy or gal or whatever is down in their luck or not very confident or not really sure where their life is going, and they're not really sure how to change that. And they're like, "Well, I, I just," and they just keep retreating back to the same comfort level, the same thing they normally do. How, how do you? What's the recommendation? How? What's the the words of wisdom to change that. How do they get started to change the path? Confidence for me has always started internally. I think the more self-aware you are, the more confident you become and creating a solid foundation with your feet on the ground and not comparing yourself to somebody else. So I think that's the first step is uh, when I find people who are not very confident, I think it's naturally like the first thing you want to do is be around people who build you up and who believe in you and who make you feel stronger um, the second thing I would recommend is shut off all social media and any type of outlet where you're naturally comparing yourself so whether that's Instagram Facebook Twitter anything like that I highly recommend taking a hiatus from it especially if you're trying to work on yourself inward I certainly take a hiatus a few times a year just so that I can work on myself and I think the quickest and best way to do that is to just disconnect from society's idea of perfectionism that doesn't really exist. It's going inward and sometimes that sounds very deep but it, really it's not because I know I've done a lot of it myself and it makes more sense once you go through it but if you don't know what that is, start small, what's the, the first? As we uh, head out on this video and close it out, what's the last, like the one thing that they should do if they're not confident to start coming to you from Playa de, or Playa Hermosa? I don't even know. The, we're somewhere in Costa Rica, but Playa de Hermosa, I think, is <laughs> donde esta Costa Rica? Um, it's beautiful here. So, Jennifer, what last words of wisdom, just one small thing that they would do if they're not sure where to start? I think you just have to start with words and you have to start with like who do you want to be and what words describe the person that you want to be and so for me it starts with okay I want to be a classy woman I want to be a strong woman I want to be feminine and exude confidence and be very comfortable with being a um, just kind of a you know like a curvy woman and I think that that to me is what I feel is a confident person and a confident woman that I want to always strive to become so I would write down four or five words that really describe the person that you want to be so that you can start to break down okay here are the words but what do you now need to do to get to that point awesome I know we could talk on this topic for quite a few days but we're under a time limit. We're on Tico time here in Costa Rica. So duty calls and restaurants and uh, beverages and sun. A sunset actually is next. So um, until next time, Jennifer, Greg from Costa Rica. Later. Bye.